Do you remember vinyl records, cassette tapes, or CDs? These are all considered standard music formats through the 1940s up until the dawn of the new millennium, when the digital mp3 file became the norm. This process is called digitization. Digitization can be summarized as the development of transforming old analog technology into modern, stable digital technology. As we have seen, the process of digitization and technological advancement results in better quality and often much smaller media. After all, today we can fit thousands of high quality songs onto a device that is less than a quarter of the size of an an LP album, which could barely hold an hour of what can now be considered inferior quality music. It is highly likely that you have multiple digital audio files and access to digital radio on the device you are using to watch this video right now. Speaking of the device you are using right now, have you ever considered what your device can actually do? Whether it's a PC, phone or tablet, you can listen to, edit and record music, take and edit photos, record and edit videos, watch movies, live television and YouTube videos, and check your emails and social media all at once. This wasn't possible only a decade or so ago. I don't recall ever seeing a VCR with a built-in camera or internet access. This process is called media convergence, the idea of multiple formats converging across multiple platforms into one. The combination of digitization and convergence has allowed the consumer to become the creator and participatory culture to continue evolving. This allows all of us to creatively express ourselves like never before. However, modern web media has single-handedly outlined the flaws of traditional copyright law. According to the ACC, copyright law is in place to create incentives for people to invest their time, talent and resources in creating new material. This could have worked in the past, however as media has continued to converge and become digital, copyright has been a key point of focus for all the wrong reasons. Granted, if I download a song illegally and don't end up buying it, I am breaking the law, but if I download a song to see if I like it and then proceed to buy it, should I really be considered a criminal? After all. It's not like I stole a car, Metallica. Then we have Disney, a company which took ideas from the public domain, used them, made millions, and enforced the Copyright Term Extension Act to ensure nobody can use that same idea or story that they themselves took from the public domain for free, or at least for a ridiculous amount of time. This goes against the very point of copyright in the first place. It doesn't get our creative juices flowing, it blocks them off. Thankfully, we have Creative Commons, a copyright alternative that achieves what copyright fails to, a global community of content creators who share their work for others to use under specific, simple terms. All the content you have seen in this video is licensed under Creative Commons, as is the video itself. Next time you share your content online, consider using a Creative Commons license. And remember to keep the famous words of Jack Johnson in mind. It's always more fun to share with everyone.